Siemens IP Control Center N152 Part 6 Chapter 2 Firmware Updates Technical changes and improvements lead to new firmware versions. In order to keep the IPCC always up to date, it provides an easy update function via network. On which firmware version the IPCC currently operates can be found either in the lower right corner of the screen or in the editor under Help System Info as we have seen already in the General Properties chapter. There is no automatic update feature, so make sure to periodically check the Siemens Gamma download page if a newer version is available. Download the update file to your local computer, then enter the IP link of the IPCC in the browser's web address line HTTP colon double slash IP address or URL slash upload.php This page comes with a login and expects the web editor password to proceed. The default password is Siemens. Since we haven't used one, we can directly proceed by clicking on the login button. The next following page will once more show the present firmware version, then a warning and a prompt for the file to be uploaded. Click on this prompt and search the update file in the explorer. Then click on the button press to upload the file. The upload will take quite a while depending on the network speed. When it has finished, the active pages all have been removed. However, the project itself still exists. So, if you restart the editor, you only have to release the project entirely once more, like after a project restoration. Hint, there is still a very small risk that after a firmware update, the project can't be activated anymore. This can happen if the used memory is already close to the limit. So, always make a safety copy of the entire content of the IPCC backup before you perform a firmware update. If the update itself fails, it is for the same reason. In this case, clear the memory of the IPCC before running the update, then restore the project and continue as explained above.